This video is a submission for a project that I've recently been working on for one of the classes I'm taking, 608, uh, Intro to Embedded Systems, but y'all should still find it interesting. Basically, it's a device that allows you to go on a sort of virtual treasure hunt, sort of like geocaching. So let's take a look at how this works. So let's talk about some of the basic functionality of this device. So when you start it up and press this button, it will get your location using a method that involves triangulation and Wi-Fi networks. So the ESP can see all the different Wi-Fi networks around it, and as well as the MAC addresses of each of the Wi-Fi networks. So it takes that information and it's able to send that using Google's API. Apparently Google has a record of where every Wi-Fi router and MAC address are in the world. And so it can use that to triangulate the approximate location of this device. And it's actually pretty precise. So when you first start this up, it'll gather your approximate location using that method. And then it'll display your location on the screen, as well as the distance you need to travel to make it to the first treasure, which isn't a real treasure, but a bit of data stored in a database on my class server. And then once you find the treasure, and you can keep pressing the button on your way to see how far away you are from the treasure. Once you're there, you'll press it. It will register that you found that treasure. It will save that to a database, and it will give you the distance to the next treasure that you need to find. So this is actually a, a pretty cool device, I think. Let's get this started. I'm going to plug it in. You'll see some stuff happening. Uh, first of all, you'll see the screen say starting as it warms up. And once it's warmed up and connected to Wi-Fi, it'll say some other things. Oh, looks like it just restarted. It means it's not connected to Wi-Fi quite yet. Oh, there we go. It says press button to begin or continue. So I'll press the button. And it's gathering MAC addresses. And there we go. It says you are currently at New House. New location is in 291 meters. So that means the treasure I'm supposed to find 200 meters away. I've found zero treasures so far. So this is the code that runs the whole thing, at least on the Arduino side. This project has code both in Arduino and in Python, living on a server somewhere. So basically what happens is when you press the button, it's going to do some initialization stuff, and I can't show you the initialization because that contains uh, Google API keys that you can't see. Uh, it's going to do some things, connect to some Wi-Fi, gather a list of the MAC addresses of the different Wi-Fi's around there. And then here it's going to create a request and send it off to Google so we can get our latitude and longitude data in this response. Uh, it's then going to parse that response to pull out the data. It has a lot of stuff there that we don't want. It does that using the Arduino JSON library. In the end we get a double of latitude and longitude. So I'm going to take that data and send it to the class server where I have my Python code on. My Python code is going to do some heavy lifting and it's going to return a response. Down here, the Arduino is going to print that response to the TFT display. So this is the Python code here. It's going to import a few important libraries and then it's got two functions here. This one, it writes the database and basically what it does is it creates a database in the server where it saves the timestamps that I so-called found each treasure and the treasure that I find, as well as the different locations from which I have clicked the button on my ESP32. It's also going to return a list of everywhere that I have pressed that button, which is pretty helpful. Uh, here in the request handler is what actually takes the request from the ESP32. It creates a very long tuple full of different places on the MIT campus as well as their latitude and longitude, um, as well as a, a random middle of nowhere location for when it doesn't know where it is. This accuracy is how close you need to be to a certain point in order for the Arduino to count it as you being there. I think point zero 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 one one is like 30, no, maybe it's 11 meters or somewhere around there. I'm not sure. 
It's then going to do some other work and create the statements that it's going to return back that the ESP will print to the screen. Those are found here and here for two different circumstances, one in which you've found the treasure and one in which you are still looking for the treasure. All right, so I'm out here. Let's press this button. We'll see how far we need to go to find the next place. So the next location, 266 meters. Here I am, it's a beautiful night here in Boston. I think the next location is that way. Ah, 79 meters. Almost there, boys. Hey, no way. Looks like it finally got Wi-Fi and worked. I have found the treasure one at the red sculpture. Boom. Treasure two is how far away? Let's see. The next treasure is about 0.6 kilometers away. Oh, I lost connection again. You know why? This is a bad treasure point because Bert and Connor doesn't have Wi-Fi, so I can't get the treasure here. Right. Okay, I just pressed the button. I'm here. It says I found treasure two. Uh, Bert and Connor. Nice. If I press that again. It says at Burton Connor, I found two treasures. Let's see how far I am to the next one. Ooh, almost there. I think it's that way. Yee! Found treasure three. Kresge Auditorium. It is so nice out here right now. Whoa! Okay. I just got Wi-Fi again, and I said, wow, you found the treasure, the number sculpture. This is an interesting statue. See what's next. Ooh, found four treasures. The final one is 301 meters away. Also, just to prove that this is in fact being stored on a server, I'll unplug it, plug it back in. We're starting, hopefully it connects. A, hey, that's what I'm talking about. Sick. See, treasures found four. We got our data. All right, how far am I now? Let's hope the Wi-Fi doesn't give out. Ooh, 194 meters. I think it's up here. Oh. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. Something is not working in your code. Something broke. Yay! Found treasure five. Oh yeah, and it's true. I did find the back of the Johnson Ice Rink Center. Well, it seems like that worked. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.